Cigar Box Time Capsule Decoupage. You can call the library and ask for a kit. Uh, we have limited number of kits, and it includes a cigar box, sandpaper, Mod Podge, a foam brush, magazines, and other things. With the cigar boxes, some of them have drilled in or burnt in letters, and you might need to fill in the recesses of those areas so that the um, box can be the same depth and sanding may be necessary. I ended up sanding all the boxes I used in this project uh, just to give it a, a good solid base from what from to glue upon. It here I am putting the glue a very thin later layer of Mod Podge on it. So, because the paper that I'm using on this particular box is very thin rice paper, and I'm wrapping the entire box in it. it I knew that I was going to use this paper, so I made it the width I needed for the box, and then I um, also made additional paper for the end paper. I'm smoothing it on the uh, glued surface, so it's just a one large piece of paper that's painted on and then I cut the excess for the cover using a knife. Other tools you may need are exacto knives, scissors, pencils, rulers, or a burnishing tool or roller of some sort to make it nice and even when you put the paper on. Uh, it all depends what your project includes. It's all very individual. If you like to have newspaper or napkins, you're going to need more careful application uh, tools. If all you're doing is, uh, you know, regular 20 pound bond paper, you won't need it. Here I'm putting the end caps on the project and I'm lining it up according to what I think the painting would be nice on there. So I just, what I'm doing is I'm just tracing it onto the box so I can cut that out and put it on the end cap of the box. Here's the final project. This other box was a plain black box and I put a fairly thick layer of Mod Podge because the paper I'm using is also thicker and was able to uh, adhere better with thicker paper. And I'm using my fingers. You don't have to use your fingers, although I find it fun to use my fingers. Here's the finished product. Magazines uh, come in various thicknesses. I used fairly thick um, pieces of uh, magazines and photos for this project. I liked thinking about putting different animals on this one. So here I am cutting and, and tracing and making sure that fits onto that side of the box. I'm, I'm putting in the, the Mod Podge and um, fitting it over. I want that whole butterfly to appear on the uh, side of the box, so I had to kind of trim and fit that. I'm lining that up and pulling out the inside box so I can tuck that excess in under the box, but you can also have it so that the picture uh, spans that box opening and then you can use your exacto blade and cut it. I did that on one of the pieces. You can see the water lily picture spans that box opening, but on the other sides I painted, chose to paint the excess uh, wood, uh, kind of to match the, the pictures.